Hello children, I am Dr. Mrs. Pallavi Patnaik, your tele teacher for today and now we will be discussing the second part of a very interesting story which is a part of your English syllabus and the name of this story is The Village Judge. Remember children, in the section 1, we had discussed a few important questions along with the summary of the chapter. Now, in this particular part, we will discuss the rest of the questions and certain MCQs which you will be getting in your examinations. And as I say, please be very attentive while I explain each and every question. Have your notebooks and your pencils out so that while I teach you, you can note down the important points. So children, I hope you are all ready. Let's start. Look at the pattern of the questions. These are all MCQs. What do you mean by MCQs? Multiple choice questions. Okay. Now look at the first question. The punch is nobody's friend or enemy. Who said this? In the first part of the story when you heard that Juman was troubling his aunt and auntie had gone to Algu, she had said a certain number of things to him and one of them was punch is nobody's friend or enemy. So answer is the aunt. The answer is the aunt. Now the second question, Algu was selected by the main judge. Algu was selected as the main judge, we all know that. But who selected Algu as the main judge? It was auntie or Juman's aunt who selected Algu Chaudhary as the main judge. Where did the panchayat meet one evening? Children, remember for you to answer these questions, you have to be very particular and very careful. So the answer to such questions have to be exact. This is not a descriptive type of a question where you can express your thoughts and feelings in your own words. Answers to these questions are very specific in nature. So be very careful while attempting MCQs. What is this question? One evening, where did the punch meet? The punch met under a tree. Okay? It is usually under trees or in open spaces that the punch meets in villages. In this particular story, the punch met under a tree. Now the next question, after the departure of aunt, Algo decided to go to the punch because why? When aunt came to Algu, she had certain things in mind that if Algu were to decide upon this matter, he would act as the chief judge in the punch, he would solve the matter. But then Algu and Juman were friends, Algu did not want to go against him. So what happened? What happened? Why did Algu, Algu became the judge? Algu became the judge because his conscience awakened him. What is conscience? It is our inner voice or the voice of God that resides within us. So it was that his conscience awakened him. Look at the question number 5. Look at question number 5. At first Algu hesitated to say the honest thing. Why? Now, like we have discussed that Algu and Juman were very good friends. So, naturally, Algu did not want to get into such matters. He was afraid that both he and Juman would be quarreling in future. So, the answer would be feared a quarrel. Now, son, you should come to my panchayat for a short while. In the given expression, who does son refer to? We have read in the previous slides that it was auntie who persuaded Algu Chaudhary to come to her panchayat and decide the matter justly even if Juman was his friend. So what should be the answer to this question? Who does the word son refer to? The word son refers to Algu Chaudhary. Now, the old woman ran from village to village with a stick in her hand. Now, auntie was very old. Juman Sheikh's aunt was a very old lady. But the old lady had a very determined spirit. What she did was, she ran from one village to another, hoping that people would solve her problems. And what did she carry with her? She carried with her a stick in her hand. Why did she do that? Since she was old, the stick supported her to walk. 
So what will be your answer? She carried the stick to support her. Now, when the old aunt couldn't bear the threat of Juman and his wife, what did she do? Now, auntie, like I said, was a very capable woman. She believed in justice. So when she signed away the property papers to Juman, she said that if Juman is not listening to him, she would convene a punch. So what she did was she would convene a punch and that was what she threatened Juman about. Now, Juman and his wife, prior to getting the property, they were very nice with the aunt. But after auntie gave away all her property to Juman, how did the couple react to her? The couple reacted to her very harshly and rudely. Okay. Now, what did Juman ask her aunt to do in the first place? What did Juman ask auntie to do in the first place? Juman told auntie that if you transfer away all your property to me or in my name, I will look after you. So what did Juman do? Juman asked auntie to transfer the property. Now, what was the price of Algu's bullock? We all know that Juman had a friend Algu Chaudhary. Algu Chaudhary was a just man. So what was the price of Algu's bullock? It was 150 rupees. Now, in that particular village where Juman and Algu resided, the price of the bullock that was Algu's, it was priced at 150 rupees. Okay. Samju Sahu began to overwork his bullock. So, he began making how many trips per day? We had read in the earlier sections that Samju Sahu was a very wicked merchant. What he did was, he took certain materials from the village and sold them in a town. So, how many trips did he make per day? 3 to 4 trips per day. The answer will be 3 to 4 trips per day. Now, what would Samju Sahu carry to the town market? Now, like I said, Samju Sahu was a dealer. He took certain things from the village. But what did he take? He mostly dealt with ghee and sugar. So, ghee and sugar were the commodities that Samju Sahu took in his cart and sold in the nearby town and markets. Now, what did Algu suspect about his bullock's death? Like we read in the story, Algu Chaudhary's bullock was sold to Samju Sahu. Okay. And what happened when the bullock died? What did Algu suspect? He suspected that Juman had poisoned his bullock. Like he owned a pair, one bullock died and the other he sold to Samju. So what did he suspect? How did the first bullock died? He suspected that Juman had poisoned his bullock. Now, one of the bullocks of Algu died only. Okay. What happened? How many days? How many days after did one of the bullocks die? The answer would be a month after. Okay. A month after the panchayat was convened, one of Algu's bullocks met an untimely death. Why was Juman overjoyed? This is an obvious answer, children. Since Juman and Algu had already broken up, Juman and Adu, Algu had already broken up. Why? Because they decided on auntie's case. So what happened was, why did Juman become overjoyed? He, become, he became overjoyed because Algu had become the chief judge. Who was Juman's wife? Now children, if you read through the story, the answer to this is obvious. It is Kariman. Now next question, how did Juman and his wife treat the old aunt when she transferred her property. We have already discussed this earlier. Auntie was treated rudely and harshly. Auntie was treated how? Rudely and harshly. Okay. Why did old aunt ask Juman for some money? Now, auntie was an elderly lady. She lived alone. Naturally, she needed money for her maintenance. So, what she asked Juman was, give me some money on a monthly basis to cook and eat separately? The answer would be to cook and eat separately. Now, Juman, who was Juman? Juman and Algu were 
very old friends, they were best friends. So, the answer would be Juman was Algu's old friend. Now, who is this story written by? This is something children always forget. They know what the story is, they know how to write the story, what, how to write the question answers, but they forget about the author. So, remember the author of this story is Munshi Premchan. Okay. God speaks for himself. How? How does God speak for himself? God speaks for himself through the punch. Okay. It is through the punch that God will speak. Now, long live the gods. Who said this? This is a particular dialogue. This is a particular dialogue. And who said this? Long live the gods. It was said by Algu. Okay. After taking the chair of the punch, Juman decided to, what did Juman decide to do? After Juman was made the judge in Algu's case, what he decided to do? He decided to stick to the truth. Okay. Juman decided to stick to the truth. Now, Sahuji proposed Juman as the punch because why did Sahuji, why did the wicked fellow ask Juman to become the judge in his particular matter? He asked Juman because he was a very deadly enemy of Algu Chaudhary. So, the answer amongst all the options would be deadly enemy of Algu. Next, both husband and wife refused to pay any price for why? Now, Samju Chaudhary and his wife were very wicked. They refused to pay a particular price. What was the reason they gave? They said that in fact, they had been sold a dead dying bullock, a dead or a dying or a diseased bullock. Okay? These are your options. When you get the options, your answer would be dead dying or a diseased bullock. Now, why was the bullock tired? The bullock was very tired after working hard for a very hard time. You know, the bullock had a very hard time working. So, he was very, very tired. Now, Sahuji put a double load on the bullock during which trip? Sahuji, like we know, he brutally treated the bullock. He overloaded the bullock. He did not give him proper nutrition. So, how did he do that? He put a double load on the bullock during which trip? It was during the fourth trip. Now, due to overwork, how did the bullock scope up with it? How did the bullock become? Due to overwork, the bullock simply became a sack of skin and bones. Because this is to say that the bullock became very malnourished. Samju Sahu promised to pay off the price to Algu in how many days time? Now, what happened was, Algu was promised that he would be given the entire amount. But in how many days? In about a month's time. Now, who used to drive a Neka to the town? Who used to drive a Neka to the town? It was Samju Sahu who drove a Neka to the town to deliver certain goods. And the next, God sees all the good and evil. Who thought that? By whom was this statement made? This particular statement was made by Algu Chaudhary. Algu Chaudhary made the statement that God sees all kinds of good and evil in all men and that he always speaks through the punch. Chaso o Chasi heu chanti rajya arthani tira meru danda. Haipti avalambanare mukhya mantri nka duradar se chinta dharara safala rupayana kari. Jala sampada vibhaka ana jala sachita anchalara tini dasmik dui lakhya hektar jamiku jala sachita kari. चारी लक्षरु अधिक चासी परिवार रो अर्थनीति को करिछंती मजबूत लोयर इंद्र अपर इंद्रावती लिफ्ट कैनाल देव जलसेचन प्रकल्प सुवर्ण रेखा प्रकल्प आदि रो पुनरुद्धार करी 
मरुड़ी प्रवण केबिके एवं जनजाति बहु अंचल चार शह चौस्तरी गाँव में चाष कार्य उन्नत पार्वतीगिरी मेगालिफ्ट योजन निर्माण करतरी उच्च मान प्रकल्प चाषी मान सहभागित एक लक्ष रु अधिक डीप बोरवेल तथा पानी पंचायत सहभागित पैंतीस हजार गोष्ठी उठा जलसेचन प्रकल्प स्थापन करेत्र क्रांतिकारी पर सौरशक्ति चालित डीप बोरवेल सहित विभिन्न नदी में छयास इनस्ट्रीम स्टोरेज पंदर हजार रु अधिक चेक ड्याम निर्मित हो जलशक्ति अभियान में चौराशी हजार पांच शह चौष्टि जल संरक्षण प्रकल्प कर आम सरकार भूतल जल संपदर वृद्धि घटाई लुणापाणी माड़ धन जीवन तथा चाष जमि को सुरक्षा देवा लगी कार्यक्षम हो मुख्यमंत्री विपर्जय निरोधी लुणाबंध प्रकल्प जल संपदर समुचित परिचालना जितिया स्तर में आम राज्य को मिली सम्मानजनक जितिय जल पुरस्कार कृषि हो राज्यवासी आत्मा एक कथा को हृदयंगम कर साढ़े चार कोटी ओडावासी मौड़मणि श्रीजुक्त नवीन पट्टनायक राज्य जलसेचन इतिहास लिखिं एक स्वर्णिम अध्याय जहां दूरदर्शी नेतृत्व उज्जवल उदाहरण What had we discussed in the previous slides that Algu had a wonderful pair of bullocks? From where did Algu Chaudhary buy a beautiful pair of bullocks? Algu Chaudhary purchased a beautiful pair of bullocks from the village of Batesar. Children, be very careful with the spelling. Okay. Now, who began to think of taking revenge? What will be the answer to this question? Who began to think of taking revenge? The answer would be Juman Sheikh. Now, the friendship between Algu and Juman broke because the decision went against Juman. Like we have discussed in the story, Juman was harsh to his aunt because of which Algu decided that the decision should not be in favor of Juman. So the decision went against Juman. Juman imagined that Algu's talk was dash. Juman and Algu were very close friends, so naturally, when Algu Chaudhary decided against the matter, Juman thought that Algu's talk was mere show. It was a kind of drama. Okay, so the talk was a mere show. Now, a punch is compared with God as he always gives the what kind of a statement? Let let uh, look at here, children. Right statement, false statement, supporting statement, or the proper judgment. It would always be proper judgment. The elders of the punch decided that the aunt should have. What should the aunt have? Auntie should have monthly allowance. Now, where does God live? This is a very important question. In fact, the moral of the story centers around it. In fact, the answer is. the god lives in the heart of the punch we are all human beings god's spirit resides in each of us so god lives in the heart of a punch aunt was dead sure that nobody would sell conscience for dash what would be the answer the answer would be friendship now who are the characters described in the first half of the story children if you remember clearly who are the characters that were described the characters were juman kariman aunt and algu you will have so many options but remember think carefully before you encircle the correct option now who had a small piece of property remember your first half of the story who had a small piece of property it was juman sheikh's auntie so Juman's aunt would be the proper answer. Samju Sahu, who was Samju Sahu? Samju Sahu was a wicked businessman. So the answer would be Samju Sahu was a businessman. Now, look at the next question. Algu didn't open his mouth at the panchayat. Why? Now Algu and Juman were very close friends. So what was the reason that Algu did not open his mouth at the panchayat? because he valued juman as an old friend since he valued juman as his old friend he did not want to speak too much during the panchayat 
at the first panchayat algu started asking questions okay so what sort of questions did algu start asking the questions that algu started answering were the ones that juman found exceedingly difficult to answer so the answer would be which juman found hard to answer okay children now they think it proper that aunt should have a monthly allowance they in the above statement who does it refer to now the elders of the panch the panch is a group of five people essentially there is a chief judge and there are elders who decide upon the matter jointly so what did they think they thought that it was proper that auntie should have a monthly allowance so the answer would be elders of the panch now children pay close attention to this because there are certain word meanings which you will find very very difficult to understand this is also a part of the text now what does a great friend mean what does a great friend mean a great friend means an intimate friend okay what does trusted friend mean trusted means you have faith in that particular person okay what does vanished mean vanish mean going off in a second or disappearing what does harsh mean harsh means very cruel in nature okay now what does rude mean rude means impolite now children listen to me very carefully the words this side the words this side refer to the difficult words and the words on the other side refer to their meaning so what does rude mean rude means impolite what does comfort mean comfort means a feeling of pleasure or easiness okay and deception is when you lie to somebody when you deceive somebody okay these are all acts of deception what does fodder mean fodder is animal food since we are talking about bullocks in this particular story fodder refers to animal food which the bullocks consume okay what does mortal mean mortal means they are capable of dying who are immortal beings usually gods are described as immortal beings but in this particular story who is referred to as a mortal being we humans all animals plants we are all referred to as mortals okay now what does overjoyed mean overjoyed means feeling happy feeling very very happy what does conscience mean children pay attention to this particular word what does conscience mean that part of your mind that tells you if you are doing certain right things or wrong things or in other words it is simply the voice of god within us conscience like you would have learnt in moral science lessons it refers simply to the voice of god inside us what does affair mean affair means referring to a particular matter affair means a particular matter what does gravely mean gravely means seriously gravely means to be very serious in nature okay what does confident mean confident means strong belief naturally in your class you would be seeing certain children who are introverted certain children who are arrogant and certain children who are very confident okay so what does confident mean confident means having strong belief in one's own self now what does consider mean consider means thinking about a matter or analyzing a matter okay what is expected mean what is the word expected mean it means that something that a person has hoped for okay now what does broke up mean what does broke up mean broke up means ended broke up means ended what does revenge mean revenge is when you get angry on somebody and you want to injure somebody in hindi you know you can describe it as badla okay revenge is the desire to injure somebody very strongly now what does ill luck mean ill luck means bad luck okay what does suspected mean suspected means to be doubted what does ekka mean ekka means a bullock cart okay embrace means embrace means when you hold each other affectionately thundered means speaking very loudly okay 
when you use a very arrogant voice, when you use a very loud voice, that expression is also called as a thundering voice, a booming voice, which is speaking very loudly. Now, children, before we end this chapter, I would like you all to remember that the moral of this story is something very powerful. What does it convey? It conveys that it is always the voice of God that is present within each of us that speaks no matter what. That voice will never stay silent. That voice always tells you what is good, what is bad. That voice is called as the voice of your conscience. And you as children, if you listen to the voice, you will never ever go wrong in life. Ultimately, the voice of conscience delivers justice. And that is the all-powerful essence of this particular wonderful story written by Prem Chand. I hope children you have understood the parts 1 and 2 well. So, we shall see how well you have understood when you get these questions in your examinations and you answer them properly. Thank you children.